Hi, I'm Amanda from Little Paper Worlds. Today, I want to introduce you to Rosanova Brivet. Watch till the end to see her all finished. I made this little lady last year, spooky season, 2022, to put on my website as a freebie that you can download and make yourself as a dreamy little fall bucket list item. But I designed her, I made her, and then I never posted her. Sorry about that. I'm a bit of a flibberty gibbet, but She's there now. I will put the link for you to grab her down in the description. I also made a new set of whimsical spooky little dolls for this spooky season, which I will also post and show here on YouTube, but I digress. Where did the idea for Rosanova come from? Some of you might actually recognize her. For some reason, Pinterest waited until 2022 to inform me about Rachel Maxey's gorgeous pumpkin lady videos. Can't believe this was in the world for like a year or two before I ever saw it. Rachel is a person whose entire vibe is a dream. She is a seamstress, but that is far from all she does. It's like everything she makes is a whole entire story, which is what I love. Plus, she's an old soul and seems to be perpetually stuck in autumn mode, which I also love. Funnily, if you watch her original video where she made her pumpkin head mask, which I'll link in the description, Rachel appears to find the pumpkin lady to be a terrifying freak of nature. It is what it is. I had fun, even though it was a little cursed and I did have to run a few more errands than I would have liked to. I, you know, I, whatever. She then later turned the pumpkin lady into a Victorian pumpkin lady and she still found it to be freakish. But as we know, I actually love beautiful with a hint of freakish. So I was just absolutely mesmerized by not only her pumpkin lady, but all the dreamy cosplays and outfits that Rachel makes. That's where the inspiration for Rosanova comes from. Because I found Rachel's mask make and the lovely costumes she made be so rich and full of storytelling, I wanted to make Rosanova more than just a paper doll. She has parts that move, several outfits, several hairstyles, and hats, but my favorite part is that she has all these little details like butterflies, skulls, and even a spell book where she can be transformed into a piece of art. Now here's the lore of Rosanova Brewitt and her sweet little orange boy cat. In the quaint village of Amberwood, nestled on the outskirts of a misty forest, lived a woman named Rosanova Brivet. She was known throughout the village for her elegance, grace, and unwavering kindness. Rosanova possessed an innate love for all things Victorian and her fashion sense reflected the bygone era's beauty and charm. As autumn's golden hues began to embrace Amberwood, a fateful encounter changed Rosanova's life forever. While wandering through the forest, she stumbled upon a hidden glade illuminated by the soft glow of fireflies. In the heart of the glade, she found an old, enchanted pumpkin patch, unlike any other. As she admired the pumpkins, one particular pumpkin seemed to call out to her. It emanated a warm, inviting light, drawing her closer. With gentle curiosity, Rosanova reached out and touched the pumpkin, and in that moment, magic surged through her veins. The pumpkin spirit became intertwined with her own and her head transformed into that of a gentle, smiling pumpkin. With her new form, Rosanova felt an even stronger connection to the autumn season she adored. She embraced her pumpkin-headed appearance and began to infuse her Victorian style with a playful touch of whimsy. She donned dresses adorned with intricate lace and flowing ribbons, pairing them with elegant corsets and delicate gloves. One day, as she strolled through the village square, she encountered a spirited orange cat with bright, curious eyes. The cat, who was known as Saffron, felt an immediate bond with Rosanova. The two became inseparable companions, their friendship a testament to the magical bond that can form between kindred spirits. Rosanova and Saffron quickly became beloved figures in Amberwood. Rosanova's radiant smile and unwavering kindness enchanted everyone who crossed her path, while Saffron's playful antics brought laughter to young and old alike. Together, they would often host tea parties under the autumn sun, inviting villagers to share stories and enjoy the beauty of the changing seasons. As the years passed, the story of Rosanova Brivet and her pumpkin-headed charm spread far and wide. And now let me welcome you officially to Spooky Season 2023 with this delightful tale of Rosanova and Saffron. On a brisk autumn evening in Amberwood, Rosanova and Saffron found themselves entranced by the flickering dance of a mischievous will-o'-the-wisp. Its eerie light bobbed and weaved through the trees, beckoning them to follow. Unable to resist the allure, 
Rosanova and Saffron decided to embark on a whimsical adventure. With a lantern in hand and Saffron perched on her shoulder, Rosanova followed the mysterious light into the heart of the enchanted forest. The air was filled with a sense of wonder, and the crunch of fallen leaves underfoot added to the excitement. The will o' the wisp led them deeper into the woods, its glow casting an ethereal light on the surroundings. Unbeknownst to them, they had wandered into the realm of the forest gnomes, mischievous creatures known for their love of pranks. As Rosanova and Saffron continued their pursuit, the will o' the wisp suddenly split into two lights, each leading in a different direction. Not wanting to be separated, Rosanova hesitated, unsure which path to choose. Saffron, on the other hand, seemed to know better and playfully pawed at the ground, indicating the left path. Relieved to have Saffron's guidance, Rosanova followed the left light. Little did they know, Saffron's choice had them heading straight for a patch of incredibly sticky spider webs. In their haste, Rosanova and Saffron found themselves tangled up, struggling to free themselves from the clingy silk. As they untangled themselves with laughter and the help of Saffron's quick paws, they realized they were surrounded by a chorus of tiny forest gnomes giggling and applauding their predicament. It seemed that the forest gnomes had orchestrated the split lights to lead them into their playful trap. With good-natured smiles, Rosanova and Saffron joined in the merriment, understanding that this misadventure was a light-hearted gift from the forest's mischievous inhabitants. The gnomes offered them sweet treats made from enchanted berries as a gesture of friendship, and Rosanova and Saffron spent the rest of the evening swapping stories and sharing laughter with their newfound gnome friends. As the night grew late, Rosanova and Saffron bid farewell to the forest gnomes, thanking them for a truly unforgettable autumn misadventure. They headed back to Amberwood, their hearts full of joy and their spirits lifted by the magic of the forest and the unexpected friendships it had brought them. And so, the legend of Rosanova and Saffron's misadventure with the Will o' the Wisps became yet another tale that would be passed down through the generations of Amberwood. A reminder that even the most whimsical of mishaps can lead to the most heartwarming memories. Thanks for watching. See you soon.